Today I'm going to share with you a recipe from the greatest time in my life. You guys have probably seen a ton of memes online about what it was like to grow up and be a kid in the 1970s. Well, what you've seen is pretty much true. My street was filled with kids and there were three other girls who were about my age and in the summers we spent every single day together. We spent our days running around outside, riding our bikes, playing paper dolls, playing Barbie dolls, playing baby dolls, playing school, and we played lots and lots of board games. But one thing we always, always did was listen to music. We all had transistor radios and we would synchronize to the same radio station. But if it was raining and we happened to be inside, you can bet your bottom dollar we were listening to Jackson 5 records. Now, why am I bringing that up? Well, there's a very good reason. A lot of times on Saturday mornings, a friend of mine's mom would invite all the kids in the neighborhood down for a big pancake breakfast. But there was something very, very unique about those pancakes. They were served with a chocolate syrup. Now I've got a really good homemade pancake recipe, but in the interest of time, and because this video is about the syrup we're going to use, today we're just going to use a box mix to make our pancakes. No matter what you're using, the most important thing you can do is have your heat right and have the consistency of your batter right. Our griddle is hot. We are gonna put a little bit of our perfect texture mixture on this griddle, right in the center. Ooh, these are coming out pretty. We're definitely gonna need to do a how to make the perfect pancake video sometime in the future. We've got a fabulous looking stack of pancakes here. And now comes the star of the show, our chocolate syrup. Now y'all, I don't really have a recipe for making this syrup because I learned to make it by watching my friend's mom on Saturday mornings. Plus, you may want a little syrup or a lot of syrup. It just depends. Let me show you the basic recipe. We are gonna start with a small skillet. Medium high heat. Next, we're gonna pour in some white Cairo syrup. Now you can just watch me here. That's about how much I'm pouring in. If I had to guess, I would say maybe quarter cup. Next, we want to add, and eh, not quite, a tablespoon of butter. A few spoonfuls of milk. Just a little bit of milk. Next, some cocoa. I will measure this for you. I'm gonna use a heaping teaspoon. I'm gonna start whisking this together and letting that butter melt and make sure that all of the cocoa is blended. Now, you can see this starting to come to a low boil. It's still not done. We are gonna wait and let this come to a full boil. Otherwise, the syrup isn't gonna be thick enough. You can give it a little stir during this time, but we wanna wait until we get this to a nice rolling boil. This is the consistency we've been waiting for. It's come to a hard rolling boil, can't be stirred down. We're ready to remove this from the heat. I'm gonna continue to stir it just a little bit here. 
But as it starts to cool just a tiny bit, you can see how beautiful and thick this is. We're gonna have a perfect batch of syrup here. Just look at that color and that texture. This is beautiful. I think we're about ready to put this on some pancakes. Look at this. Guys, you better believe this smells as good as it looks and I can't wait to taste it. Wow, look at that. 1974, Saturday mornings, riding my bike, not a care in the world, and these pancakes. Y'all, my mouth is watering. This is the real deal right here. My ears are ringing. I'm not even kidding you, my ears are ringing. Those pancakes with chocolate syrup literally transport me back to one of the greatest times of my entire life. I hope that you'll give them a try and that you'll love them as much as I do. This Thursday, I'll be releasing a new quickie video, so be sure to tune in for that. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some J5, and just keep jamming.